Hey, welcome back to the channel. So recently I started diving back into LinkedIn to get new clients and new partners for a service offering that I just launched at Growth Response. So I want to show you in this video how I optimize my profile for going out and getting clients for this new service offering on LinkedIn. Now, as many of you probably know, I started on LinkedIn back in 2017 when I first started Growth Response. I used it both to get clients for Growth Response and also we offered it as a done for you service for other companies. So we would manage their LinkedIn accounts and we would manage their cold email accounts and we would generate them new appointments and new clients for their business. And we were working with mainly companies in the B2B SaaS and the agency space. In 2020, I stopped taking on new clients for the done for you LinkedIn service that we had. And I stopped using LinkedIn for about a year. So I haven't used LinkedIn for a while. Uh, right when COVID started, that's when I kind of stopped and moved away from it. But now that I have this new service offering at Growth Response, I'm going back to LinkedIn. I need new clients and new partners again. So now I'm back on the platform and I'm showing you in this video how I've optimized my profile for getting clients again and what's changed since I last used it. So I'm actually gonna break my whole client acquisition strategy on LinkedIn down in a few different videos, kind of like a mini series, I guess. But this video is gonna be focused on the profile and what I did to optimize my profile to attract the right people that I wanna work with. Now I've only been back on LinkedIn for about a week and in that time frame of reaching out to new people and optimizing my profile, I've generated 11 calls for people who are interested in this new service offering who are also qualified. So that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Again, is what I did to optimize my profile to get these calls being booked and to get people interested in this new service offering that I have. Now, before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get updates to all my future videos. Doing that lets me know that you're enjoying the videos and it also helps to show it to other people who can benefit from these videos as well. So if you're getting value out of this, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos and we can share it to other people who can benefit from this as well. So with that said, let's dive into my computer now and I'm gonna show you how to optimize your LinkedIn profile the way that I did. That has gotten me 11 booked calls in just seven days. So let's jump in now. So here I am on my LinkedIn profile. If you guys wanna connect with me, go to seany.anthony and you're gonna, you're gonna see my profile here. My URL is it's Sean Anthony. So if you go there on LinkedIn, you should be able to find me. And this is my picture on the platform if you're wondering if it's really me and my profile or not. So uh, I'll go into the areas that I've optimized on this in just a second. Uh, real quick, proof that people are interested based on my profile, you can see here, um, this morning alone, like we have this guy, Grant, he's interested in having a chat with me. He wants to connect for a product uh, or a course launch. This guy, Richard, is wanting to connect as well. Um, we got this guy here who runs, I think this is a SaaS company. He wants to schedule a call on the 23rd. Uh, this guy, Aaron, as well, interesting. Uh, hasn't asked for a call yet, but he wants to hear more. Uh, and then we have a few other people here as well that are interested in having a conversation uh, not everybody here is booked on the phone yet. I like to do a little bit of qualification, but there's a lot of interest in this service offering and a lot of it has to do with what I did to optimize my profile. So I'm gonna jump back into here and I wanna walk through the areas that I optimized on my profile that I believe is helping me get these responses and get interested people who wanna to talk to me about this new service offering that I have. So with that said, let's start the first area of your profile that is so easy to optimize, but I see so many people not doing this. So that is your profile picture, right? It all starts with your profile photo. And the main thing here is you just wanna have something that makes you look professional, presentable. And this is especially important on, important on LinkedIn. Mine is just a picture of me smiling. There's some gradient colored background and I use the same photo on my YouTube channel and also my Twitter account. So it's not some crazy $2,000 headshot. Doesn't need to be very expensive at all. I think I just took this in my apartment. I had Jackie take it of me and I just popped on this, this gradient colored background in Canva, which is a free tool that you can use. So it doesn't have to be crazy, but the, I have a old profile on LinkedIn and it was a little grainier. The picture wasn't as clear and it looked a little older. So I wanted something that popped a little more and this is gonna get attention, right? If you can ma imagine my picture down here, um, you can probably see it if I go to home, uh, this is gonna stick out, right? Because there's a colored background and it's a picture of me smiling and it looks presentable, right? I'm just smiling, it's clear, you can see my face. I'm not drinking or uh, doing anything weird in the background. So it's very presentable and clear and clean. So that's what you want. And that's the first step is to optimize your, your profile photo here to make it look clean and presentable uh, and a headshot of you, okay? So real simple, step one is to, or the area number one is your profile photo. 
The second area is your banner, your cover photo. And look, you can just see right here, this guy Bo just responded back and he wants to have a conversation. So that's another one, that's proof for you. Um, so the banner here, I'm gonna minimize this so we don't get distracted. The banner here can do a few different things. Uh, I used to have pictures of me speaking and I had a picture of me with a couple different influencers in the entrepreneurial space. And I just switched it to this uh, yesterday actually, which talks about who I am and who I help and how I help them, right? So all it says here, email Rainmaker, that's kind of like my, my branded term that I use in my Facebook group and a lot, in a lot of my emails. And I have a little tagline under here that says helping online business owners and creators sell more with email. So very clear what I help people do. And if they wanna check out my website or they wanna check out more about what I do and read about my story, they can go to seananthony.co, so, right? So links to my website here. And at the bottom of that, it says email or DM me to see how I can help. Right? And that's why um, some people are starting to DM me, like I'm guessing Bo here probably read my banner or he read my headline and wanted to see what I'm about or what I can do for him. So um, that is the banner, right? That's the second area. And two different ways that you can do that. Number one, you can have pictures of you speaking or if there's anything uh, authority building, you can add that in your cover photo, your banner. Or you can just put a statement here, very similar to what I did, that's just you know, text-based, or it could have a few pictures in there of you, of you and just say uh, who you are, who you help, how you help them, and, and direct them to a certain place, right? Whether it's a lead magnet, whether it's to your site, whether it's to send you a message, you wanna have that call to action in your banner as well, okay? So that's the second area, is your LinkedIn banner, your cover photo, optimize it to either uh, build some authority, uh, of you speaking and presenting, or it could direct somebody to go to a certain area or resource that you have, which is what I'm doing here. Now, the third area that I optimized was, and this is probably the, the most important piece for the responses that I'm getting right now, is my headline here. So I use a very simple framework or formula, whatever you wanna call it for the headline, and that is helping a specific type of person to get a specific result through or using how you do it, right? Or how you get that result, right? So let's walk through this. Helping these specific types of people, info product, online education, e-learning companies, to get a specific result, which is add 50K to 100K a month to their sales, and how I do it with 100% funded and managed sales campaigns. No upfront fees, explainer video at growthresponse.io, which is my site, and has a video of me explaining how the service works, okay? So uh, if someone reads this, right, and you can see it uh, in the messages, right? Like if, if you go to my message inbox here and you look at this, it shows up right here, okay? It shows up in this where it says founder and CEO. It's gonna show that helping um, info product companies, online education companies to add 50K to 100K a month to their sales. That's where it's gonna show up, right? It's gonna show up everywhere. So if I go to my homepage here, you can, you can also see it uh, over here, right? This is where my headline's gonna show up. So no matter where I am, whether it's in the, the newsfeed or messaging or on my profile, people are going to see that headline. And if you are an info product online education or e-learning company who wants to add 50K to 100K a month to their sales, that's gonna interest you, especially since it's 100% funded and managed and no upfront fees, right? So uh, what you wanna do here, you can follow that same framework or formula, but the stronger your offer is, the more responsive your market's gonna be, right? If I said something here that wasn't, that didn't take risk off the table, right? If there was upfront fees, if there was a $5,000 to $10,000 a month uh, upfront retainer that people had to pay, right? If I, if I wasn't 100% funding and managing these sales campaigns, probably wouldn't be getting the same response, right? Not saying I wouldn't get any response, but the better and stronger and more no-brainer your offer is, the more responses that you're gonna get, okay? So this is a very important piece of why I think people are responding so much um, and so uh, at such a high rate is because of this irresistible no-brainer offer in my headline, okay? So that's the third area, is your headline, and instead of putting your job title like a lot of these people here, just digital marketing specialist, founder and CEO, CEO, that doesn't really tell me anything, right? That's not an offer. I like to put an offer in the headline that speaks to um, who I am, the specific types of people I'm, I'm helping, the result I help them get, and how I help them get that result, right? That is what's gonna get people interested in wanting to learn more, whether that's clicking over to growth response, whether that's sending me a message or responding back to my um, connection campaigns. Okay, so that's the third area, your headline. Make sure you have an irresistible or no-brainer offer in there using the same formula. So the fourth area that I optimize on my profile is my profile summary section. 
uh, or the about section, whatever you want to call it. Now, this section is more of just an expansion of the offer that I already talked about in my headline here, right? So uh, someone reads this, they're interested. The first thing they're going to do is click over to my profile and scroll down and try to read more, get any more information about what that means, right? So they're going to go down here and you can see here it's the same message. It's just expanded. So attention, info product, online education, e-learning companies, are you doing seven figures a year in your business? Would you like to get this result? Add this amount to your sales in 30 days with no upfront fees. I 100% fund and manage sales campaigns for seven figure businesses and you only cut me a check from the revenue I bring you. How is that for, how's that for an irresistible offer? If you'd like to get this result in 30 days without investing anything up front or spending any time managing anything, watch the demo here and then shoot me a message to chat. Um, and I direct them to my site and I'd say, I'd, I'd be thrilled to help you. For all inquiries, please email me here, okay? Um, so real simple, I'm just, I, I used to actually make this a lot longer, but I think this offer is so good that I don't really need to do too much explaining other than that, right? Uh, I'm, and I'm getting by proof, like a lot of responses of people who are interested. Um, let me minimize this here. Uh, what I'm also doing in my summary is I'm linking to uh, this info product that I have, which is around writing emails that sell, seven day super fast sales email challenge, right? Um, and I have a link here if they wanna grab that. And then I also have links to my free content. So I have my newsletter here, my email newsletter, if they wanna join that with 7,000 other entrepreneurs. I have my YouTube channel, which they can go and subscribe to or watch my videos. And I also have my Twitter account here. Okay, so this profile summary, doing a few things, right? Expanding on the offer from the headline, if someone wants more information, it's linking to a info product or digital product that I want people to buy. And I'm also linking to my free content that people can watch or read or view without having to pay anything. Now, one more area that I optimized here that isn't in my profile summary, but uh, I guess you could loop this in with your, my profile summary is the featured section here. So this featured section is the same thing as, as this here that's highlighted. It's just a direct link to this product. So if they click on this, it's gonna take them directly to my super fast sales email challenge, which they can check out and buy right here. And there's different packages that they can pick up depending on what they want. And it's linked from this featured section here. So you can also add like a piece of content that you're proud of. It could also be like your free newsletter opt-in, right? Make sure that you have some kind of lead magnet to entice people to want to join your email list if you have one there. And yeah, that's the fourth area is this profile summary. And I'm looping this featured section in with that since it's so short there. Um, but that's the fourth section is the profile summary or the about section. Now, the fifth and final area that I optimized in my LinkedIn profile is my content feed. And this is more of an ongoing thing. So if I scroll up here and go to see all activity, I've never been too heavy on LinkedIn content, but now that I'm posting on um, Twitter, which I'll show you in a second, I'm using a tool that's helping me post both to Twitter and LinkedIn at the same time, repurposing my content. But if you go here to the activity tab and I go to posts, I'm now posting at least once per day, usually in the morning around uh, 6.30 or 6 a.m. around that time. So uh, I think it's 6.05 a.m. But you can see here, I just started posting again about a week ago and I'm just starting to post. So I don't have too much traction here yet, but there is a few posts that are doing better than others. Uh, I think I had one that had like a thousand or something views on it. Here we go, 1,000, uh, 1,145 views, 24 likes and six comments on this. And this is five days ago. So uh, what I'm using for this is a tool called Hype Fury. And you can see here, there's like a little LinkedIn. This is a tool to schedule out tweets, but you can also use it. They have a premium plan that you can use to repurpose your tweets to LinkedIn. So if I go to here, this post here and click edit post. If I go to advanced, you can see there's this little post on LinkedIn checkbox here and I can uh, make it post to LinkedIn. And then I can also like edit the format if I want, like I can you know change the spacing if I need to or um, I think you can add characters as well. So um, pretty cool. I already write tweets and I schedule those out. So I thought, why not repurpose that content to LinkedIn and use that to help me nurture and grow my audience there as well. So that's what I'm doing. It costs a little more to do that. I think it's about 490 bucks a year. Uh, I'll put a link below this video if you guys wanna sign up for Hype Fury and use it to schedule out your tweets if you're on Twitter 
and your LinkedIn post if you're there or on both platforms. Um, so that is what I use and that is the fifth and final area that I optimized my profile is figuring out a time to post every day on LinkedIn. And the advantage for me is I can just, you know, res I can just click this button here in Hype Fury and have my tweet automatically go to uh, 6.03 a.m., automatically go to LinkedIn as well. Okay, so that's the fifth area is this content feed and I'm making it a habit to post at least once per day, which is going to, I guess, nurture the people that are in my LinkedIn network. Right now, that's 3,946 people here. So that's exactly how I optimize my LinkedIn profile for getting new clients for this new service offering that I have at Growth Response. That, and so far, it's getting a pretty good response rate. I think a lot of the heavy lifting comes down to the offer itself. It's an irresistible no-brainer offer for the right company. And there's no reason a seven to eight figure business who wants more sales risk-free wouldn't respond to that. So I think the offer has a lot to do with it. But if you optimize these five areas on your LinkedIn profile, you're going to have a lot higher of a chance of getting a response, a positive response, which leads to hopefully a client for you down the road. So go ahead and optimize these areas on your LinkedIn profile if you haven't already. In the next video, I'm gonna talk more about the messaging strategy that I'm using to reach out to people and get them interested in having a phone call with me about this service offering that I have. So stay tuned for that in the next video. And a few other announcements or things I wanna share. First, if you run a seven to eight figure business and you want to learn more about the service offering that I've talked about in this video, just go to growthresponse.io, watch that short video. I'm not taking on anyone new until September, but if you watch that video, there should be a button there below the video to enter a wait list and you'll be the first one to be notified when we have open slots for the service. If you're someone who wants to learn how to write emails that sell, which is part of the service offering, go to my free group, go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free Facebook group where you can join and you can also enter your email address to get a free report around subject lines. So go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free group and you can join without paying anything and learn more about how to write emails that sell. Also, one more thing, go to LinkedIn and type in seanwide.anthony and send me a connection request and just mention that you watched this video. I'd be happy to connect with you on LinkedIn if we haven't already connected. Uh, but make sure you mention this video. I don't accept everybody unless you show me that you've watched something or give me a reason to connect with you. So just mention in the notes that you watched this YouTube video, you enjoyed it and you wanna connect with me on the platform. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys got value out of this. Give it a like if you did and let me know in the comments which of these tips was most valuable to you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.